Yes. So I've heard nothing but Captain Olson, Captain Olson, Captain Olson for the past, I'd say two months, since yeah. December 1st. Tell me, how are you settling in? How's it going? Well, it's been very busy, obviously, but uh, I'm settling in well. It feels better now. It feels more, a little bit more settled, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we have something in common. I was the first um, woman, well, actually, in high school, I was on the boys' water polo team, so oh. I broke that gender boundary as well. So how does it feel, yeah, how does it feel for you to be the first ever female in the Cunard line of a 170 year tradition of it's, males. It's a fantastic moment in my life, I have to say. It's, yeah. uh, first of all, being the first female in, in the company's history, 171 years, which is a long time really, but also to be a part of the unique history. So it's been just fantastic. Yeah, so you're going to be in the world famous museum on these ships too, right? <laughs> well, it's, it's a bit of a foreign thought thinking about being in a museum. But, yeah, right. You know. So <laughs> tell me about um, the what's been happening. So you took over and you worked through the refit and then you did a tandem sailing, a transatlantic, and then you did that maneuvering with the three queens in New York. How'd that go? It went really, really well. We had the tandem crossing with the Queen Elizabeth, the newest one in our fleet, and uh, came into New York at the same time. They, they, we were first in, they came just after us, and then the Queen Mary. And then for the leaving New York, we all sailed out together. It was fantastic. Was that hard? Because I, I was reading the We Are Cunard blog, of course, um, and I was reading about how the three ships had to pull lines at the same time, and it was like a water ballet, so to speak. Yeah, <clears throat> it, it demands quite a lot of timing, but obviously we had the you know, New York pilots with us, mm. so they were very good and they're very experienced, so that was great. Yeah. So they kind of helped us and guided us to you know, how fast to go, slow down here, and now we're getting there, and so it was, it was fantastic, it was great. So how do you like how Mr. Peter Shanks refers to giving you the, the keys and you're driving the ship? It's kind of oh, funny. It's good, yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, how about, uh, I keep reading all this stuff about you being from the Faroe Islands, and that yeah. leads to your maritime oh. skills and mastery. Is that, if I live in the Faroe Islands, would I be able to be a captain? <laughs> I don't know if that's, you know, the background history is basically, it's an island society. You live in, and you grow up by the sea, so you have, we played a lot by the sea, by the water, everything was kind of connected to that, and the, and the export or occupation for the Faroe Islands is 95% of it, or 97% of it is fishing. Mm. So it's, it's a lot to do with water. I don't know really if that was the reason, really, why I went there, because there were not that many females from the Faroe Islands who do this, so... yeah. <laughs> so tell me, I, I love um, sailing into Stockholm. Do you have any tips as a, from the bridge about sailing into Stockholm? Well, it's 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 a very long voyage in, obviously, and, and quite demanding. And they have extremely good pilots there who are very prepared for taking the ships in and, and maneuver them in. It is a very narrow area to come in through, and it's challenging, but it's a fantastic voyage in. Absolutely fantastic. So when when we sail into Stockholm, there's always this confusion about where the ship is actually going to be docked. What, do you, although they have a schedule ahead, do, do they change it at the last minute? Um, no, I think that for the entrance into Stockholm, it, it depends very much on the weather. And because it's so narrow, it, it, it's kind of limited by the wind ah. as well. So if, it, if the wind is too high, then we can't go in because it's, it's not enough space, really. Uh huh. So that's good to know. Now, another one of my um, buzz points is families. I didn't. I, I saw a lot of kids coming on board today. Does Cunard have a pretty good kids program, or yes, how does that have, work? We basically we have for every for all, you know, all groups really. Uh, so we we also have for families with kids. We have for young people. We have for elderly people. For all groups. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then let me see. What about? Um, okay, so on Tuesday we're doing our little cruise chat online on Twitter that I do. Yeah. And our topic is cheers, and we're actually going to be talking about UK and Ireland. Do you have anything to say about that? I mean, because this is the quintessential British band brand, isn't it? Yes, it is. I mean, it's it's a brand which stems from UK, really. But the founder wasn't from the UK. Ooh, good to know. Yes. So, what, what about what? What, do you, what does it mean to you when somebody says "cheers"? Do you does that evoke cheers, anything? I cheers with Ireland, obviously, mm. with their you know long history of, of beers, etc. But cheers is also connected to the TV series for me. Ah, uh -huh. 
Okay, so here, oh, I forgot. Now, what about, I happen to be studying a lot on European cruising and the emergence of Europe as a gigantic, humongous cruise destination, especially for us in North America. What, do, do you think that's the same, or do you, what do you think? Well, I think all the destinations are really big, big yeah. markets, really. And, and I think for, for us coming back to the North American market, it's, it's fantastic. We're coming into LA today, doing the Hawaiian cruise, doing Mexican cruises. And, and basically using as LA, LA as a, a basic port for us now, nice. for, until March, until 18th of March, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, and then you're going to go 45 days um, again, right? And then, yeah. and then Queen Victoria is actually going to be in Europe for the summer, right? Yes. And you're going to go on a two-week holiday and then come back? Two? No. <laughs> what are you doing? I go for a little longer vacation. Oh, yes. a little longer than two-week yes. holiday. Well, okay. So that's going to be fun. What are you going to do? Well, I am going for a trip to the Faroe Islands to huh. visit my parents. Then I have some friends in Miami, and I'm going over to Miami in March, I think, or April. April, I'm going for 12, 10, 12, 14 days. So what do you do for fun on the ships? I know you work around the clock, but is there anything that you get to do that's fun other than hanging out with the passengers and the fantastic staff? Well, I do not much in the evening. I just relax a bit, watch some TV, read a book. Do you go to the spa? Because yeah, this is a I famous spa the, here. Yes. I'm going to go check I, that I out. I do take opportunities when I can, but we also have classes which I go to in the evenings, which is great fun. Okay, so this will be my last question. What, what, what has been the best question anybody's asked you in your um, tenure here as captain? Has there been a great question that just really you were thinking, wow, that's a good question? Or the opposite, is there something that you were just dying somebody asked you and they never did? No, not really. I think... I think most of the questions have been very relevant to it and, and I've managed to, or I've had the opportunity, be given the opportunity to say the things that I really want to, so it's uh -huh. been great. Good, okay, well thank you. I'm going to um, sign off. Bye bye.